Welcome back again and let's talk about which coins specifically do you mine while using NiceHash. Because if you go to your NiceHash miner and you click on your hardware details and then on your GPU, you can see the full list of algorithms that your GPU supports. But this can change depending on which kind of uh, GPU do you have or maybe if you have Nvidia or AMD GPU and how old that GPU is because the older your GPU is, the less algorithms it will support and it will be less profitable. But on my GPU GTX 180 Ti, you can see the full list of 15 algorithms that NiceHash currently supports for NVIDIA, because I can mine every single one of them and about 3 or 4 of them are profitable at any given moment. So you can see like Ketsuk, NIST5, NeoScript, Lira2, Revision2, but that doesn't tell you which coins you are actually mining, and to see the full list of coins that NiceHash supports, you have to go to nicehash.com slash pricing. And over here, if you take a look, for example, at script, you can see that with script, NiceHash supports mining Litecoin, Dogecoin and Fedora coin. And those coins are mined with ASIC miners, just like Bitcoin, BitShares, Emercoin and Digibyte. All of those coins are only for ASIC machines because they can do so much more calculations with ASIC machines than you could ever do with your GPU miner. And for example, X11 is for Dash, Fuelcoin, Startcoin, Vcash, and this is the full list over here. Some of them, for example, like Lira 2 Revision 2, that is profitable sometimes for mine on Nvidia cards, is only supported by Vertcoin. And this is the only coin that NiceHash supports for Lira 2 Revision 2. And for example, if that coin drops in price, uh, Lira 2 Revision 2 will stop being profitable. And the idea is that you don't need every single one of those coins supported by the algorithm to be profitable to mine for the algorithm to be profitable. Because if you take a look at something that has more coins and that you can mine with NiceHash, for example, something like NeoScript that you can mine Feathercoin, Orbitcoin or PhoenixCoin, only one of those coins has to go up in value for, for mining with NeoScript to be profitable. And let's take a look at some of those coins and why is the profitability dropping so much. For example, let's take a look at Feathercoin. And you can see that Feathercoin dropped more than 50% in price because in its peak, the highest, it was 67 cents per one Feathercoin and now it's about 27 to 30 cents depending on a day. And if every single one of those new script coins drops 50% in value, the whole new script algorithm will be less profitable to mine. And it is not so hard for mining to be profitable again, because imagine that only one of those coins go up, goes up 10 times in value. And of course that lot of the miners would automatically switch to start mining that coin and the difficulty would go up and the profitability would drop immediately. But if the coin goes up so much in value that amount of miners cannot follow that coin or that algorithm, the mining could be profitable like it was 3 or 4 months ago just with one single coin rising. And this is what actually gives me hope to continue mining, because right now if your electricity cost is about 15 to 20 cents per kilowatt hour, you are just a little bit over the break even point with mining, but only one coin can change actually everything. And I will still continue to mine, I won't stop, because only one coin can change everything and the next altcoins bull run could happen anytime or maybe it won't happen for a year or two. We don't know and I don't want to miss on the mining like I missed a few years ago when it was crazy profitable just like in December this year and hopefully I won't make the same mistake again. So thank you guys for watching, let me know what you want to see in another video and see you soon. Bye.